This morning, we're sharing an exclusive interview with the lead scientist behind a major breakthrough in transplant surgery, something we told you about yesterday. It could offer a lifeline to the, one, to the almost 100,000 Americans waiting for a kidney. 12 people a day die in the U.S. waiting for a kidney transplant. But now, for the first time, surgeons at NYU Langone Transplant Institute successfully transplanted a genetically modified pig kidney into the human body. Our chief medical correspondent, Dr. John LaPook, got a first look at this experimental procedure. Are you thinking, this is science fiction, or do you think, oh, yeah, of course, that's what we do now? It doesn't seem futuristic. It seems like the future is here now. Dr. Robert Montgomery and his team at NYU Langone's Transplant Institute have done something that's never been done before, successfully transplant a non-human kidney into a human being. The human immune system rejects organs from animals, but Dr. Montgomery and his team genetically modified a pig kidney to make it more compatible. So we came up with this idea of testing it first in someone who is recently deceased but is being maintained on a ventilator. The family consented and donated the body for this study. They felt really strongly that this would be something that she would want. What was said in the operating room? We had a moment of silence for the decedent and the family who made this incredible decision. Before this first attempt, NYU created a new board consulting with religious and legal experts and with bioethicists like Dr. Art Kaplan, who heads the medical center's ethics division. Do you have any second thoughts whatsoever that this was the right thing to do ethically? I think we should be doing it more often. What we have here is absolute certification of death complete voluntarism on the part of the people involved in the experiment with permission and enthusiasm that they want to help. The researchers connected the pig's kidney above the thigh of the recipient, outside the body so they could see and test it. The kidney turned a beautiful pink color. We were sort of taking in what we were looking at, which was incredible. It was a kidney that was immediately functioning Without genetic modification, a transplanted pig kidney would likely have been rejected within minutes. This kidney worked perfectly for 54 hours before being disconnected. What could it mean? It could mean that no one will need to die waiting for an organ anymore. I think it will be something that, you know, eventually will be perfected to the point where it'll be an alternative to a human organ. And for Dr. Montgomery, this is personal. He knows all too well how it feels to wait for a donor organ. The study occurred five days after the third anniversary of my heart transplant. It was a very emotional moment in time. Um, just the fact that, you know, I was able to be here to do this work is both humbling and it just makes the whole thing just feel more important. Early days for a new approach that could save thousands of lives. For CBS Mornings, I'm Dr. John LaPook in New York City. Wow, really wow can't be John, John LaPook, plot twist that the doctor himself had had, had to have a life-saving uh, surgery. John LaPook would be with us, but he had surgery today. Mm, he's, no, he's, yeah. an oper he's in the operating room this morning. But what an incredible story. When you hear about pig kidney, at first I went, eh. You need to but stop. then you hear it could save your life, and you go, oink, oink. We need to, <laughs> yeah. we need to stop <laughs> calling okay. it a, a pig kidney. As soon as it's suitable for the human body, it's just a kidney, period. <laughs> okay. the pig. Uh, okay. But this really can be life-changing. Actually, my, my wife's cousin, Alan, is waiting for a kidney transplant wow. right now. Oh, wow. Can't find one. A lot of Americans wow. are in that situation. And if the research is successful, it could not only be kidneys, but lungs, hearts, other yeah. parts of the body. Yeah. Um, you know, you could save 100,000 lives a year. Yeah, these type of medical breakthroughs are modern-day miracles, that's for sure.